up my loves welcome back to my channel today I'm sharing with you guys another unboxing from stitch fix as you guys know I love stitch fix it's my favorite styling service if you guys are not familiar stitch fix is a styling service like I mentioned it does cost $20 and that $20 does match you with a personal stylist that picks and chooses pieces for you based on your wants and your needs and what you're looking to update your wardrobe with with stitch fix you can link your social media you fill out a questionnaire online so they can get to know you better and see you a little bit more with your social media with stitch fix they do cater to women men and children and as for women they have straight sizes plus sizes and they have petite and maternity I believe as well I will have a link in the description box down below if you guys are interested in signing up and thank you to everyone that has signed up using my link I really do appreciate it and I hope you guys are enjoying the service as much as I do so I am super excited for this box in specific because when you guys are actually watching this video it is my birthday and I did actually request this box specific for my birthday so I wanted some pieces that maybe I personally wouldn't pick for myself and maybe something just something different I guess what's the idea so I am really really happy with this box there's just one item that I don't 100% love but I'll share with you guys as we go on so not only is this video going to be an unboxing from Stitch Fix I am also going to share with you guys a few pairs of jeans that are now available at Stitch Fix so stay tuned till the end of this video so you guys can check those out but I have a lot of really good stuff to share with you guys today so if you guys are interested in watching this unboxing from Stitch Fix then please keep watching so as always with Stitch Fix you do receive five pieces those five pieces can be clothes shoes accessories whatever you're really looking for for this box I did receive four pieces of clothes and one pair of shoes. I don't typically receive shoes that often, so I always do get really excited when I get something different. But the first item I have to share with you guys is a top. This top is from the brand LUQ. This is the re-tie front top and a size extra large, and this one costs $38. I will be honest with you guys, already decided I'm keeping this and wore it yesterday <laughs> so this is what the blouse looks like here it is a pink floral blouse with the V cut in the front it does have some really nice like flowy sleeves the sleeves are actually so flowy they almost fit down to like my um, elbow which I kind of like um, and then as we go down on this top we get some more floral patterns and then we do have a tie in the center the tie on this top I will tell you guys is very big but I kind of like it it's something a little different most of the tied tops that that I have have this little tiny tie and this one is nice and big and it just gives you like something different this top in general fits me a little bit more oversized but I actually really like it as well I feel like sometimes like I said like with these button front tops or even with the tie in the center tops they're always usually more fitted so I really like this one because it's just something different I like the oversized look I like the really long tie and I like the color scheme as well this like muted pink color I think it's really pretty this one for sure I'm going to keep I've already worn it actually and took the tags off but, but definitely let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments down below in the try on I did actually pair that top with this next item here this this next item is a skirt and it is from French gray this is the Bibion eyelet knit skirt in a size extra extra large and this one cost $48 this is what the skirt looks like here it is a navy blue eyelet circle skirt it has the elastic waistband and then we have that pretty like eyelet detail all over there is a second layer in here as well so nice really nice coverage I also did receive this skirt in an extra extra large when for the most part, all of the skirts I've gotten from Stitch Fix are usually in an extra large. I actually really like the way this one fits. It's not too loose on the waist. It actually still fits me really well on the waist, but it's longer, you guys. So it's like the best thing ever. I don't find it to be too loose on the waist and I have so much extra length, which I love. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this one down below. I don't know 100% if I necessarily wear this blue with the pink top, but maybe, I mean, they look okay, but the thing is with the pink top, it has so much extra material like in that, um, in that knot area that it, it, it kind of shows inside the skirt, if that makes sense. Like when it's tucked in, you can kind of see it. Um, but I, I like the idea of the color scheme. I just don't love the, um, that you can see that not detail, but definitely let me know what your thoughts are down below. And moving along, we have a dress this month from Stitch Fix. This one is from the brand Nine Britain. This is the Lizzie brushed knit dress in a size extra large, and this one costs $48. You guys are gonna die because this dress is so incredibly cute. So this is what the dress looks like here. It is a black 
little um, fit and flare dress inches in at the waist and there are lemons all over it you guys it is so so incredibly cute you've had the material feels really awesome I have a lot of other dresses in this nice like soft material but also kind of like fuzzy but super breathable at the same time um, the cool thing about this one though it does have all of these like crissy crossy detail like with the straps in the back and I think it's just so incredibly fun the only thing I will say about this dress is it is a tad short on me and I don't 100% love that but I, I'm also at the same point where I'm like I don't 100% mind either because spring is coming or spring is here and summer is coming so the length isn't a huge issue especially if I'm on like vacation and want to throw something like this on with like a jean jacket or without a jean jacket um, but it is personally in my opinion a little short especially in the bag side region like with my butt um, but definitely let me know what your thoughts are on this piece down below so the next piece I have is actually a jumpsuit this is from brand Kaylee this is the Arden off the shoulder knit crop jumpsuit in a size extra large and this one cost $58 you guys know my feeling on jumpsuits I like them on other people but I don't personally love them usually on myself I think the way my body is shaped where I'm so tall and I do carry a lot of my weight in my like lower tummy like hip region they don't always flatter me personally the best but I did actually really like this one so this is what it looks like here so as mentioned it is an off the shoulder jumpsuit so it has this nice elastic band that sits really well off the shoulder we do have this um, ruffle detail across the chest and then there are armholes on the side so it's always nice when a when a top or like a dress or anything is supposed to go off the shoulder and it has this little hole in them it just helps so that the piece stays off of the shoulder rather than it having to rather than you having to worry about it keeps like sliding up and stuff this one does cinch you in at the waist and there are pockets as well you guys know I love pockets and everything and then this is a cropped fit so I think it fits me a little bit of a little bit below the knee but not fully to the ankle um i think in my personal opinion i think maybe if i size up to an extra extra large i'd have a little bit more space in the tummy region i don't think it looks terrible but i also feel like i have a little bit of a camel toe so definitely let me know what your thoughts are down below i'm gonna keep trying jumpsuits you guys we're gonna we're gonna get through this together i'm gonna find a perfect jumpsuit and you guys are gonna be there with me when we find it um, but i just don't know personally if this is the one and then the last piece i have to share with you guys today is a pair of shoes i did actually pair these shoes with the jumpsuit in the try on that is the way my stylist Cass, she actually recommended to wear the two together. So that is what I did. These shoes are from the brand Diba. These are the Dreamer suede cutout sandal in a size 10 and they cost $69. I will say it right away. I didn't check the price tag on them, but I think they're going to be a pass for me. I don't personally love them and that price tag is high, but this is what they look like. Now the color on the sheet claims them to be coral, but I actually think they're more of like a burnt orange in my personal opinion, but they are a sandal. They go kind of higher up that almost kind of remind me like a boot with the cutout details. And then they have the tiniest little heel. They're not terrible, but I, I just don't love them. I think if they didn't go so high up maybe i would like them a little bit more because they're hitting me kind of at an odd length on my ankle that it's kind of like making my ankle look like a little bit bigger in my personal opinion and for that 70 dollars price tag like i'm sorry but i have to love some shoes if i'm paying 70 dollars because you guys might know i'm pretty cheap especially when it comes to shoes because i find some good finds at target for like 20 dollars and I'm cool with it. I do have a few more things to share with you guys actually today before we wrap up this video. I was sent three pairs of jeans from Stitch Fix actually, and this and they're all from the brand DL1961. This is a brand that Stitch Fix is now going to carry, and they do also offer extended sizes. All of these jeans were sent to me in a size 14W, and all of these jeans can be requested by your Stitch Fix stylist. They are also sold at Nordstrom, but there are going to be select styles that are only available at Stitch Fix. Kind of similar to Madewell. You guys know I shared with you guys some Madewell jeans from Stitch Fix before and it's kind of the same deal. Some of them are only available at um, 
at Stitch X and then some you guys can get at like Nordstrom. Now, I will tell you guys, I did check them out online and they are pricey, kind of similar prices to Madewell, but actually they're a little bit even higher. Personally though, I do feel that the quality does match the price point in my personal opinion. And you guys know, I am not one to splurge too, too high on certain things. And recently I've been kind of laid back with my jeans because I do really like those ones from Madewell. And honestly, I have to say, I think these are also worth the price point in my opinion. So I got three different styles. I did try all of them on except one for you guys because unfortunately they just didn't work out. And I'll share those first with you. So these are the Florence Ankle mid -rise insta sculpt skinny these are in a size of 14 w this is what they look like here they are a dark wash denim they are skinny and when i put them on i couldn't button them but i could tell already like wearing them they were just a little short on the ankle so do keep that in mind they do have traditional front and back pockets and then they just have the traditional um, button with the zipper as well these did not work for me so if you're thinking about trying out this pair you can request them again from your stylist um, but if you're interested in requesting this pair or even purchasing this pair i would suggest sizing up because the other two fit me perfectly fine and these like i said i could not even like button them at all they do fit me personally even though they claim to be a mid-rise they do actually fit me on the higher end of a mid-rise um, where they're actually sitting right at the belly button just for reference so even if they claim to be mid-rise I actually really liked the way that they fit so that's the first pair and then like I said I have two others to share the next one is also the Florence ankle mid-rise insta sculpt skinny again in a size of 14 W these are a true pair of black jeggings guys know I love black jeggings and these are absolutely perfect super stretchy traditional front and back pockets and these do fit me more at a cropped length so I believe they're fitting me like I feel like this much above the um, above the ankle, which I'm perfectly fine with, especially for the spring and summertime. I don't have any black jeans that are more cropped. So I really like these. They feel really nice quality. And even just wearing them around, I could tell they're not going to stretch out, but they do still have a lot of stretch, if that makes sense. And then the last pair to share with you guys are completely different for me personally. I did actually get a request from one of you guys to try out some boot cut jeans, like you were on the hunt for a good pair. And I think these might be a good pair for you. So these these are the Bridget Mid-Rise Insta Sculpt Boot, again in a size of 14W, and this is what they look like here. So these are a dark wash pair of denim. These are a little bit lighter than the first pair I shared with you guys, but still pretty dark. Traditional front and back pockets like the others. And then as mentioned, these are a boot cut, so you have a nice flare. So like I said, one of you guys request, one of you guys asked me about boot cut jeans, so I would definitely recommend giving these a try, especially if you're a subscriber to Stitch Fix, you can just go ahead and request them to be sent to you at home, and then you don't have to, then you have the opportunity to try them out before purchasing, purchasing them, with which I think is awesome. For me personally, these were just a tad short, so I'd probably try to get a long um, in them. But other than that, I thought they were absolutely amazing. So you guys, that's actually gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already, and check out my Instagram. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. I will have all of the items that I shared with you guys today down in the description box as well, including my size if you're interested. I'll have the jeans linked down there too if you guys are interested in checking those out again the brand is dl1961 and they are now available at stitch fix be sure to let me know what your favorites were in the comments down below you guys know i love hearing from you and later this week if you guys are interested i'm going to be posting a video all about white jeans i know that has been highly requested so that will be coming later this week um i don't really have anything else to update you guys on today um but so i think that's actually gonna do it i hope you guys all have an amazing day amazing week and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Try not to hold me down, feel alive.